In this tutorial, I will show you how to import data from an Excel file into Monday. To do this, we have two options. We can create a new board based on the imported data or import data into an existing board. In this video, we'll explore both of these options. Before we begin, I just want to clarify that when I refer to an Excel file in this tutorial, I mean a file in the .xlsx format. It's also important that only the data from the first tab of the spreadsheet will be imported into Monday during the import process and the limit for importing data is 50 columns and 8,000 rows at a time. New board based on the imported data. Let's start with how to create a new board in Monday based on data from Excel file. We go to the workplace in Monday where you want to add the new board. Select Import Data and click Excel. Now drag or select an Excel file from your computer. Click Let's customize your new board. Now select how the data from our file should be arranged in Monday.com. Initially we need to select a row from the spreadsheet, the data from which will become the column names on the Monday board. Then select which column's data should be used to set the names of items on our board. In this case, it is a sample client list, so I choose names and surnames as the item name. Finally, adjust the type of each column, which means choosing the functionality that a particular column will have. You can select a type for a particular column by clicking on the blue arrow next to its name. If we don't see a specific type from the list of options, we simply leave the column as text. After creating the board, you will be able to change the type of column. The difference being that you will then have more types of columns to choose from. When everything is set correctly, click Create Board. As you can see, the board has been created and now you can change the types of columns if you need to. Import data into an existing board. Okay. So now I will show you how to import data into Monday.com if you already have a board and simply want to add new items to it. Initially, we need to go to the board in Monday where you want to add new items. Click on the arrow next to the New Item button and choose Import Items. Now drag or select an Excel file and click Next. Then select which column's data should be used to set the names of items on our board. In this case, it is a sample client list. So I choose the column with names and surnames. Now we have to map the columns from Excel to the columns in this board, which means we have to choose which column from our spreadsheet should correspond to which column on our board in Monday. Notice that unmapped columns will not be imported, which means that data from the column that has not been assigned to any column in Monday will not be imported. Here we have the option Exclude first row of spreadsheet from import. If we select this, the first row containing any content in our spreadsheet will not be imported as data into Monday. If we uncheck this, the first row containing any content in our spreadsheet will be imported as data into Monday.com. In this case, the first row with content in the spreadsheet file contains the names of the individual columns. So I don't want these names to be imported as data. So I will select this option. In the next step, we choose what to do with duplicated items. We have three options. The first one, create new items. We'll simply import all your records from the spreadsheet into Monday. If some records are duplicates of items that already exist on the board in Monday.com, those records will still be imported. The second option, skip items, means that if a record from your spreadsheet is classified as a duplicate of an item on the Monday board, this record will be skipped during import. We can select based on which column Monday should decide whether a record is a duplicate. For example, if I choose the email column and the email of one of the records in the spreadsheet is the same as an email that has already been entered into my Monday board then this record will be skipped during import. The third option, 
Overwrite existing items means that if a record from your spreadsheet is classified as a duplicate of an item on the Monday board, this item will be overwritten. It means that the item data in Monday.com will be replaced with the record data from the spreadsheet. Here we can select based on which column Monday should decide whether a record is a duplicate. In this case, we will simply select create new items, which will result in all the records from the spreadsheet being imported into our Monday.com board. Even if some records are duplicates of items that already exist on the board. Click Start Import. As you can see, a new group has been created on our board, which contains the imported records from the Excel spreadsheet. Now, if it's needed, we can move items from this group to other groups on our board. One bonus tip. If you just want to add a few new items to Monday.com and skip the file import process, you can do so in the following way. In the spreadsheet, select the cells containing data that you want to add as new items on the Monday.com board and copy. Go to Monday, click Add Item, and Paste. Now you can simply enter the data for these items. If you have data in a text document, you can also add it to the board in this way. Just ensure that each piece of data you want as an item name is on a separate line in the text document. Okay, before we finish, I've got one more thing for you. If you are a new user of Monday and not yet fully familiar with all its features and the platform as a whole, I encourage you to watch our Monday Beginner's Guide. It's a free video guide in which we go through the essential elements and features of Monday.com. It will give you a general idea of what you can do with Monday and how to set up and use your Monday account. So if you want to quickly familiarize yourself with Monday.com, this is the guide for you. To get our Monday Beginner's Guide, click on the link in the description of this video and it will direct you to our website where you can access the guide for free.